Welcome to the show guys. Today's video is on the Hummingbird Helix 5 Generation 2 Ice Fishing Setup. Coming up next. Alrighty guys, so today we're going to talk about the one year review of the Hummingbird Helix 5. Uh, if you guys want to find out videos about like unboxings, tutorials, other stuff like that, I will link some other videos in this video right here, I believe. It'll be in this corner, or maybe this corner, I'm not quite sure. But today's video is just going to be a quick talking section about how this has performed throughout the last year for me. This is my opinion. I'm not being paid by Hummingbird to do this. This is my own specific opinion. Uh, through the past year, I've owned this Hummingbird unit, and it's worked great, guys. Uh, I love how you can have all the options. You have the GPS. You can even download maps for certain lakes, which is very nice, especially when you're ice fishing. You can see the contour lines, you can see brakes, humps, all sorts of stuff. Uh, base maps does come standard on the Hummingbirds, which is another great feature. You can build it in, or it, it's already built in to your Hummingbird unit, and you're going to have a base uh, contour map of most lakes in your region. Uh, especially here in America, you're going to have lots of lakes. Uh, there's also interference rejection on the Hummingbirds. They updated it with the latest firmware and it really works well. There's seven different modes. You have chirp interference and just regular interference. So that means you can run multiple birds or multiple units in an ice hut, ice shelter, etc. Which is pretty cool. Uh, unlike the deeper, where there's really no interference rejection, you're gonna get a lot of cloud and haziness and you really can't take that off the screen. Uh, I know with the Vexlers, there's only a few different interference rejections. Uh, so, I'm not quite sure with Markham. I've never actually used a Markham M1 or any of those ones. I can only imagine that it would be quite similar though. Even though there is a lot of pros to using this bird, the Helix 5, there are a few cons. Um, sometimes when I find that the battery is getting low, it'll, it'll jump bottom. It, it'll have a very hard time finding bottom. Um, I found that when the battery gets south of like 35%, it starts to kind of glitch out just a little bit. It could be my battery though, but I'm not quite sure. It seems to happen with all my batteries. Uh, maybe there's a glitch or something in the transducer, but it's just something that kind of happens and it pisses me off every now and then because you'll be jigging a fish up and all of a sudden the screen will start bouncing up and down, up and down, up and down, and there's no real clarity to it, you know, so. But other than that, this bird has worked great. Uh, battery life is amazing. Uh, you, if you get a Dakota Lithium, I'm sure it would last much longer. I just have your regular standard battery in it. Uh, just the the 9 amp from Shields or whatever. And it, it works pretty well. I mean, it'll last two full days of, of usage for sure. Depending on the screen brightness and, and all that. But uh, yeah, it's a great little unit, guys. I would highly recommend this. Uh, there's a lot of different options. Like I said, you can go through the views. You can get a zoom mode with the Vexler wheel, which is a great thing. The Vexler wheel will actually tell you some information inside it. It'll tell you your inter interference rejection, what level you're at. Uh, you can get the full dial, lots of stuff over here. There's a fish down there. I'm busy talking to you guys, and there's a freaking bass down there. Ready to grub now, I tell ya. You can go through uh, the different modes here. There's a zoom feature. You can get times, depending on your uh, depth, I, I would suppose, you can zoom in up to eight times eight. So that's pretty cool. Uh, you get your regular standard mode, your GPS, it'll tell you where you're at. You can zoom out, right? Uh, there's a whole bunch of spots here. You can get Vexler Wheel with GPS. There's like 12 or 13 different uh, modes you can do. Um, and then, yeah, it comes back to the regular standard one. Uh, the one that I love most is Zoom, obviously. Uh, it's a really nice little unit. And another fun feature is you can take this off the ice and put it directly onto your boat. So, a uh, really nice little feature of this unit. You can do that with a Garmin, you can do it with a Lowrance, you can do it with really any of them. They're all pretty much multifaceted that way. So that's another cool feature of these 2D sonar units. But yes, after one year of use, this Hummingbird unit has worked very well for me. Uh, the screen has not glitched out at all. I haven't had really any issues with it besides the unit itself searching for bottom. That's my only complaint about it. 
Uh, and other than that, it, it's worked great. So if any of you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the comments below or get a hold of me. There's a fish. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry, guys. Some marks came in the screen. Get a hold of me on Instagram or Facebook or whatever, and we can chat further on. Uh, but thanks so much for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Appreciate you. Have a good one in tight lines.